Okay, this is in depth. In death, not in depth. Is in like depth fulfilled. It's in death. Is in dead. Oh, right over his head. Okay. So basically, it's got an art style of souls, set for floating buildings, which I'm not a fan of the floating buildings part, I have to say. Um, obviously, the translation and uh, polygons are not great because it's VR, it never is. When you get close, you can see it's quite flat, but from a distance, it looks very convincing. I mean, all that looks really, really convincing. I quite like that. The bow is a recurve bow. You've got a very short wooden recurve bow. Um, not a long bow. This, I'm not too sure you can get other bows in the game yet. I'm still kind of early days in the game. This bar here is your health. So you've got like six bars of health. Every time you get hit, you'll lose a health. Just over his right shoulder, left shoulder even. Um, every time you kill one, that's money flying towards me, and then uh, you turn your hand upside down and it'll tell you how much you got. That's a pretty cool feature, actually. 449, because uh, you can actually buy arrows and stuff uh, in the game. I do love the windows as well, and the roofs. The roofs are definitely dark, so I But then that's kind of like where it kind of ends almost with it, really. There's a little bit where the boss fight starts and it's got like a dark soul kind of like fog on it. Well, it's not fog, it's more like electricity, but similar in a lot of respects. <clears throat> but other than that, it's pretty much uh, an arrow shooting game. See, I've got hit then. I'm gonna get hit again if I don't move out of the way. This game does like to kind of get you to sort of get jumped every now and then. Uh, you see the health bar's gone down by one now. So every now and then I'll be somewhere and then I'll get jumped. And they kind of like pop in and spawn right in front of you it's all like it's not entirely great as you go through there's like three levels and then there's the abbey level everyone's calling it the abbey level i think that's because that's what it's exactly called now, this is an early access game so there's tons of room for improvement statue of jesus christ massive one uh, yeah as you can see it's early access by the way that the uh, these lamps these smaller lamps don't actually attach to the wall the larger lamps later on do but you know early access see this is it I don't, I don't really like the whole uh, floating stuff the sky is great by the way the sky is fantastic that over there that tower that's a um, where you can buy stuff with the money some health there so I've lost one bar but this is a uh, blood of the lamb heal plus one when you grab it it kind of just heals you and you go up a bar but I kind of feel that you should be able to grab the whole cup and then you have to drink it so you know if the devs are watching this at all then uh, yeah there's a recommendation for you Okay, so anyway, yeah, you've got a shield that you can use to block arrows with. Um, 
I don't know what else you could block with it. I've not tried. Uh, you've got different types of arrows as well if you do that. Oh, see, like normally you get three, but now I can put four on there. That's cool. I've obviously upgraded that at some point. That's cool. I've only got normal arrows. I don't have any other arrows. <clears throat> and then this thing here is called a shard or something like that. And if you drop it, it kind of, it will make you kind of like dodge. Which is pretty cool, but I don't use it that often. I tend to just use the free locomotion. You don't have to use the uh, locomotion. <clears throat> you can use the teleport arrows, which is just another button. You're just pressing kind of like uh, Y, uh, is it B? B? B on the touch controllers. Playing it on the Oculus Rift as well. Um, the, the main arrow, this main arrow, is infinite, so you can go ham on it. Alright, so we've just got through the first part. We did skip quite a bit of it, so we didn't get a whole lot of money. And due to the fact we got a whole lot of money and we really don't need much, we could probably just not bother going to uh, the shop, so to speak. And I'll show you where it is. We'll go to it further on when we can. Just just here, right, if you use the teleport arrow in that doorway just there, you'll you'll go to the shop where you can buy probably more health or different types of arrows. There's frost arrows, fire arrows, there's a triple arrow, uh, it's called volley free. Um, there's a splinter arrow as well that splinters outwards. It's not very good for long range splinter arrow, I find, but really good close range. Also ricochet, I think it's called. I don't know if it ricochets actually, I need to check that out. I'm sure it's called ricochet now we could I'm using um, turning by the way but sadly there is no smooth turning it's just you know it's either 45 degrees like this or you can go all the way up to 90 degrees I think it's worth trying to get long shots because there is achievements for shooting getting headshots from this distance lead that shot then. Oh no, shoot him. Shot him in his big toe. I think the, the, the draw distance on this is pretty good as well. I haven't actually added any uh, super sampling. I want to add 2.0 super sampling because I've got the GTX 1080 Ti. But it doesn't feel like it really needs it when you're in here. It's actually really, really good resolutions. It, it looks kind of nice and sharp. It's got a good draw distance. It's all looking pretty good. and then he gets a headshot. Quiver. You see, I don't know what this is. Quiver, this is new. See, the more you play it, the more achievements you get, the more you unlock something. What is that? Oh, let's get these guys. Oh. Damn it, there's a freaking archer at the back. Damn it, he's got me twice now. That's the problem when you find stuff close range. These archers sitting at the back there can just absolutely destroy you. I lost two health. <clears throat> so this is this not an arrow then? What do I do with this? Ah, oh, uh, restore ammo for one arrow type. Ah, oh, so I need to restore arrows. I don't have any arrows. Uh, uh, of only of one arrow type, but it means like you know the fire arrows or something like that. Okay, let's try not to lose too much health because this is only the second, and there's like one more after this, and then there's the abbey, and then there's the boss fight. So, really important. Anyway, going back to the turning, you don't have smooth turning in the game. This is as best as it gets. But I can actually physically turn all the way around because I've got the 360 sensors going. Uh, perfectly fine. It does seem to be quite smooth. I know the sensors are fine, so if there is anything that goes on, it's because 
because of this. I don't, I'm not using actually, I'm not physically turning around as much because obviously one, I'm not the most well person in the whole world so physically turning actually hurts quite a lot and two, uh, I don't have the room space, I'm going to hit something at some point even though I've got the Guardian on. I probably still will hit something. Okay, my arrow skills are not really, really good at the moment, but I've been playing this quite a bit today and I'm starting to get a bit tired. The scale is amazing, by the way. The windows and stuff. Goliath could walk around this place and you'd feel at home. The trees look pretty decent as well. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it, I just moved back and that arrow just came straight in. See that guy just appear? It's like he just jumps down from someone. That was a headshot. Ah, oh, be blood of lamb. It's not. It's quivers again. Maybe I should have went and bought some. problem with drawing bows now. Okay. Right, I've only got one HP left now. And that's because like I went for the if you kind of I don't know what's going on there actually it's working fine now isn't it? Maybe I was completely missing it. I don't know. Ah uh, these guys fire arrows super quick but they sometimes very uh their accuracy is very, very bad. Okay, so I'm down to one HP, but no. But maybe I'll find some. The worst part about having low health is, is the sound of your... of your heartbeat that it does, and it doesn't seem to just go away neither, it's just constant. Ooh, that was close. Ah, there you go, health. Okay, so now I've got like three bars. I don't know how I got three bars. Was that two health? I've never seen this night before. Just slightly dressed differently. Guessing we have to go across there at some point to the next part. Oh wow, that looks cool. It, you know, what makes Dark Souls good is not just its environment, but also the creatures you face and in here I don't think these creatures give me the same feeling by far so you know if they want to take some criticism and on the chin I'd say that you know maybe designing some pretty good creatures no damn it we could have got the shield up I've lost health again seem to be really missing the draw of the bow because I'm so tired after doing this video. I've done this video four times and it hasn't recorded. Okay.
I think I came from there, you know. So maybe it's this way. There's no running in the game, neither. This is as fast as I can go. And you kind of feel like if your hands are here, right, which your knees are here, right, and your feet, I don't know, that's pretty accurate, actually. It's not far off. I just feel really short. I think I feel really short because of how big everything is. I mean, this doorway is massive. It's not a set, it's not accurate though. I don't know if you guys have ever been to castles and stuff before, but the doorways are pretty freaking huge. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. See, like getting jumped. It's a big thing in this game. So I'm now back down to 1 HP again. This is actually harder than the last run I did. I got all the way to the boss in the last run, but on this run I'm feeling very unconfident. <clears throat> I kind of feel like when you're on the last bar as well, you should regenerate at least one bar or something. Um, after, I don't know, a very good long length of time, and you obviously can't do it whilst you're in the boss fight. Like, it should not probably be there yet, but almost. Go that way, we're out, but I. This guy has a shield, so you have to shoot his head. Hoping for a, maybe some arrows or a load of health. There's Jesus Christ statue again. Last time I got a bunch of angels, so as well. There's change now and then. I feel like diversity a little bit more in the environments could be a good thing as well. But it is an early access game. You've got to rem remind yourself of that every now and then. So, I mean, it's not very buggy. It plays quite nice. Just uh, just need a little bit of diversity and probably some faster speed because this is so slow. I don't think I'm going to see an arrow coming my way. That's pretty cool. He's got a, quite a distance away, so that's quite good fun. The arrow shooting in this is pretty good fun. The first time I've ever had a problem with the arrow shooting, actually, just then when I was trying to grab the bone, it wasn't pulling. It's because I'm probably tired. Okay, so now we're at the shop. We've got blood and lamb there. We've got blood and lamb there. We've got winter spike needle. So we're not going to be able to afford much anyway because we didn't really kill a whole lot.
All right, so we're going to go to the third area now. Oh, I've got fire arrows on, I didn't realise. Ooh. Son of a bitch. I'm expecting him to move still. <gasps> no. Headshot. Okay, one of the other things I've got an issue with, and it might be intentional, is that you can't actually move whilst you've got an arrow drawn. Oh, I could hear teleportation going on. Right, so for instance, arrow drawn, trying to move, can't move. You can, you can move left and right, like turning, but you can't move. So it makes it a little bit hard, because so then when you're kind of like committed to taking a shot and you see an arrow coming towards you, you, you know, the only thing to do really is to bring up the shield, which I'm not very good at doing. I don't know if you can go straight quiver. No. some health see the heartbeat still going and that's okay and that's why I said if it regenerates a little bit maybe it could just stop the heartbeat Just so tired. I tried to actually do this sit, uh, sitting down to see if uh, that would help. The truth of the matter is, uh, it just didn't feel very good sitting down because you've got to draw this bow, and it, I've got like a nice back on my seat, and I'm just hitting the back of the seat and the arm rests and etc. This looks like it could be an open area up ahead. Health as well. Oh, there's a dude up here. Oh, him as well. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, there goes that health that I just gained. That was tied just there as well. It's like a dead end down there. Can see what's down there. See that? There's the bridge just there. You can peer around things as well, obviously. <laughs> oh no. See that? Because I can't turn right now, I'm so knackered. <laughs> From the standing. I've been playing this a bit, standing up today, and it's starting to hurt. Yeah, headshot. No, it's worth checking that down there. It's... Oh. 
do like these this roof I can't remember which if it's a Bloodborne that it reminds me of roof or Dark Souls 3 I haven't actually played Souls uh, 1 and 2 where I started 1 and 2 I never really got finished I heard they're doing a remaster of 1 so I'll be picking that up So realistically we could just go straight across there and get to the last stage which I'm thinking I'm very lucky to be in right now but I'm still gonna go around look to see if I can find extra arrows or something it was a top level there as well I don't know how you get there This level. Definitely something in it. I feel like someone's teleported near me. I can't see where. Should be popping more heads. There's absolutely nothing up here. And this is another criticism I would say that you know you shouldn't be able to go this far into something and not find at least a chest maybe at the end of it. There's no chests in the game, so that wouldn't be a bad idea for a start. Just there. Oh, one HP. I can't remember how many I've done now. What's up there, do you reckon? I'm gonna go and check. Don't know if I'm on the last area or. If there's another area to do first. Maybe that's where you get teleported to near the end, I'm not sure. Definitely hear something here. There's a knight just around this corner. It's not a knight, it's or is it a knight? Awkward. Definitely a zombie as well. People, AIs, um, actual NPCs that you can talk to as well. With, with really, really good voiceovers. That'd be great. You just have some guy like, like hammering something there and you can go up to him and upgrade your bow to a different color with some metal on it that does a little bit more damage or something like that. And he talks to you.
All right, we're gonna have to go and buy that health that's left over there whilst we slowly, slowly make our way. This does look like the area where you go to meet the boss, probably. Yes, it does. It looks like a flame at the end there. So anyway, we're gonna go grab that health. Right, let's go to the boss area. Sorry about any background noise you hear, it's um, my son's off sick. Okay, my reminder's just come up to pick up my daughter as well soon. So we ain't got that. I'm just checking my watch to see what time it is. I've only got two bars, haven't I? Last time I took the bus down halfway, though, with one bar, I think, so there is a chance. Headshot to so much damage that guy. Problem going straight for the bosses, these guys could teleport in and mess my day up. It's very dark as you get to this point as well. So I don't know what that would look like to you guys. But this is no lead panel. So it don't look too bad. Ooh, there's health. I'll take that. We'll get jumped to get into it though. down into the dungeon. <coughs> Square ahead to one teleport is there. Not a good sign. <coughs> okay, this was exactly the same as last time, so maybe this is something that doesn't change. Like I just teleported in. Wow, come on, arrows. If I'm correct, there's quite a few of um, these dudes down the bottom of the stairs here. Yeah, like secret doors as well. That would be cool. There isn't secret doors in it. 
these lamps are on the wall and all that. In order to get here, this, see, this is another Dark Souls kind of feel, isn't it, a little bit? Except it's not really smoky. To get in here, they have to fire a teleport arrow. Right? Uh, okay. Quiver, nice. Now, last time I got caught out because it actually... this quiver up. Uh, last time I was here, uh, it spawned uh, bowmen behind me and I didn't see them. So I was doing alright until that point. It's not good. You hit him in the head, it staggers him after a while. See, it's a problem. I can't really, can't, can't do everything. Huh. All right. See. So anyway, with my feelings on the game, well it's early access, I got it for pretty cheap. I think when the sale's actually not around anymore, it's £14.99, I think that's about $18.99, so somewhere in between for Euros probably. Um, so for that price, I think the game's definitely 100% worth it. Thank mm -hmm. you.